One of the best things you can buy for your kitchen is an enameled Dutch oven. Not only is it incredibly versatile, but it also can be used to sear some incredible meats and then make sauces out of the fond for incredible stews. Now, most of you out there will know, if you're looking for a cast iron anything, Lodge is the leading manufacturer. But I'm here to tell you that when it comes to enameled Dutch ovens, I don't think Lodge is the right choice. Here's my full review on the Amazon Basics six quart enameled cast iron Dutch oven. Let's get started. Okay, so why would you need a Dutch oven, right? Well, I'm with you guys. I didn't think I would need one either until I finally bought one. Now, I did have a Dutch oven before. I had a cast iron Dutch oven that was not enameled, and primarily we used that for frying, usually fried chicken or french fries or whatever. I kind of got tired of not having a Dutch oven, and after doing a lot of research, I found the Amazon Basics one at an incredible price, and I decided to pull the trigger on it and give it a test run for myself before I did a review on it. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Amazon Basics, really? Especially coming from me, who loves Lodge, right? Well, I'll explain in a second, but ultimately, yes, the Amazon Basic one is a great value, and yes, I do recommend it over the Lodge, and I'll tell you why. Because when it comes to enameled products, like Lodge's Dutch oven, Lodge actually ships those overseas. They're actually made in China. They're not made in the USA like their skillets are. That's a little caveat with Lodge. They disclose that their enameled cast iron products are made in China, while their non-enameled products are made in the USA. That's how they kind of cut cost. But when it comes to the Amazon Basics Dutch oven, it's enameled, it's incredible quality, it's a hell of a bargain, and yes, it's also made in China, but it's like 20 to $30 cheaper than the Lodge. So I had to give it a try. And honestly, when I did get it in, it performed really well. And I've had it now for nine months and we use it at least once a week. And it's definitely held up its own. So with that being said, let's jump into the categories. So let's talk about materials, build quality, and features. Like I said, materials, this is a cast iron and it is enamel. We went with the six quart model featuring the cool red finish. You do get these side handles on the side. You get this really nice lid that's also enameled and has a pretty heavy duty screw in the middle with a nice heat resistant washer to keep everything in place. We like the edges and the overall design and you do get the Amazon Basics logo on the top handle. And we've had no problems with the finish whatsoever. The enamel has not been peeling and we do kind of abuse it. We do use metal utensils and stuff. And as long as you really take care of it, enameled products will last for a fairly long time. Just don't let the thing overheat with nothing being cooked in it. And of course, never try to wash this thing when it's piping hot with cold water right when you've removed it from the stove. Let it cool down before you wash it. When you do that, you can warp it, which will crack the enamel leading to poor finishes. When I was reading the reviews, that was the number one complaint about this thing is that the finish doesn't hold up and the enamel cracks and shaves off. But when I was looking at the pictures, it definitely looked like people were trying to wash it with cold water and not allowing the Dutch oven to fully cool. I mean, if you warp it, anything that has a finish, once it warps, the finish is gonna crack. So keep that in mind. But other than that, it's a Dutch oven. It's just like the Lodge Dutch oven and it's pretty decent quality. They also have several other finishes. I think the runner up finish for us was the blue finish, but you know, but that's all preference. So overall build quality and features, I mean, can't say anything bad about it. It's a Dutch oven. Now with that being said, cast iron enameled cookware do have a shelf life. Eventually, the enamel will start to crack and peel. It's just a matter of time. Honestly, so far, it being nine months and having no signs of any issues whatsoever. Now, that may or may not happen. I don't know. Enameled products are cool, but they do kind of have a weird spot when it comes to the coating. I personally, as you guys know from my other videos, I like to buy things with no coatings. I like getting stainless steel, cast iron, and carbon steel 
uncoated. But when it came time for the Dutch oven, I did want to give enamel a chance. And so far I do like it, but I know in the back of my mind that one day it will fail and I will need to replace it. It's just the nature of the beast. So let's talk about pricing. As I said before, compared to the Lodge Dutch oven, which again, keep in mind, Lodge cast iron skillets are usually made in the US, so are the carbon steel skillets. But anything enameled, they send to China. This is also made in China, and that's where the pricing comes in that makes a big difference. The Amazon Basics comes in at $45. That's an amazing value. I think Lodge comes in at 62 or 65, somewhere around there. And then there's other models or even more. I mean, you can go up to 200 bucks. Amazon does offer a warranty with this product. And of course, if you buy it through Amazon, you do have their return it anytime within the 30 or 60 days, no questions asked. So for the price, that's incredible. 45 bucks, try it out. Now, what are the cons regarding this Dutch oven? Well, the number one con is obviously it's made in China. I prefer to buy American products, but I'm not against buying Chinese products because the Chinese make really good stuff. I mean, come on, the Chinese make everything. As long as the product's good quality, I'll buy it. And this was good quality. And compared to the Lodge product, I just couldn't justify the price increase. So I guess you can't really call it a con that it's not made in the USA, but it's sort of like a con caveat. I did want to include that. The next biggest con that I have is obviously reliability. I have no idea if this thing's gonna stand the test of time. I'm assuming it should last me the standard three years or so without you know, any of the enamel starting to crack and peel. That's with heavy use, right? So we'll see. So far it's been nine months and that's basically all I can speak to right now. And then the final thing that I wanna mention is this thing's really heavy, it's cast iron. Now when you're cooking with it, you're not gonna notice. A Dutch oven usually stays put and you, know, you make your food in it. But when it comes time to clean it, it's heavy. You definitely notice how heavy it is and you're trying to fumble with it, right? And you don't wanna drop it and crack it. I highly recommend being really patient and forgive me ladies, but if you do need help, Call someone over to give you a hand to hold this thing so you can clean it properly without dropping it. I'm a big dude and sometimes, you know, fumbling with it with one hand and, you know, using a brush can be a bit challenging and you can get fatigued. Honestly, when it comes time to clean this thing, I kind of dread it just because it's so heavy. Never put a cast iron anything in a dishwasher or let it soak. It's cast iron, it still will rust even though it's enameled. Take care of it, wash it, dry it properly, put it back on the stovetop, let it heat up, and just evaporate all that moisture and then put it away. Obviously the lid is a bit of a challenge to dry. Do your best to hand dry it. You can also kind of put it on a burner for a little bit and just let it heat up and evaporate all those you know, moisture and liquid, and then store it. It's also a big Dutch oven, so if you're limited on storage space, that could be another con. But other than that, it's a great product and I highly recommend it so far. So there's not very many cons, but there are a lot of pros. The biggest one being the price. So if you guys are enjoying this video, check out my series of cookware videos where I actually have several videos of different products. For example, if you're wondering if you should buy a cast iron, carbon steel, or stainless steel skillet, or maybe you don't know the differences between the three, I have a video on that where I review each one and I give you the pros and cons. Maybe you're really into stainless steel. Maybe you don't know which stainless steel product to buy or you're looking for a budget friendly three ply stainless steel skillet. Well, I get a video on that where I review the Amazon commercial three ply stainless steel skillets, which in my opinion are the most budget friendly true three ply stainless steel skillets out there. Or maybe you bought a stainless steel skillet and it just keeps sticking on you. Check out my video where I go over the fundamentals of stainless steel cooking and even give you guys some tips and tricks on how to clean a sticky mess. And then finally, maybe you're considering sous vide, but you're not quite sure if sous vide's right for you. Well, I have a video on that too. Check out my entire series here and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. So I wanted to illustrate just how great this Dutch oven is by shooting some B-roll. And I was trying to think like, 
like what would be the perfect dish to make so I can really illustrate its searing capabilities, the fawn that it leaves over the sticky bits, making a sauce out of it, and then showing you just how versatile this product is. And my wife makes incredible spaghetti with meatballs. So I asked her to make her famous spaghetti meatballs, which is one of my favorite dishes, and I filmed her doing it. And as you guys can see from the footage, she sears the meatballs to perfection. And then using the fawn, the sticky bits, she sautés some onions with some garlic and then makes her own spaghetti sauce, which comes out fantastic. Now we also have a pasta maker. If you haven't seen my video already, go check that out where I make my own pasta at home. So it's safe to say, I wish you guys could taste it, but it's safe to say it was a fantastic meal. I hope you guys enjoy the B-roll. So what are my final thoughts on the Amazon Basics 6 quart enameled cast iron Dutch oven? It's a fantastic budget friendly Dutch oven and I think you should be considering it. It does everything I throw at it whether I'm searing meats or making a sauce with the leftover fawn, the sticky bits. It's holding up great. There's no rust whatsoever. The enamel is not flaking off. I don't have any issues with the coating at all. I can tell you right now that nine months of heavy usage has proven the quality of this product and I think that Amazon did a great job. Now Amazon's kind of expanding their cookware. They're offering really good cookware like stainless steel skillets, cast iron Dutch ovens, enameled cast iron skillets, and so forth at an incredible value. If you guys haven't already, check out my video where I do a full review on Amazon's three-ply stainless steel skillets made out of grade 18.8, which I thought were fantastic. And they were coming in at 30 bucks. You can get a 12 inch three ply stainless steel skillet at 30 bucks. And it was going toe to toe with all clad. Seriously, Amazon's really stepping up the game. Go watch that video and you guys will be blown away. That skillet actually came to me by accident. My daughter, my 15 month old daughter ended up buying it. but. I mean, I'm glad she did because I didn't even know that Amazon was venturing out to better cookware. From what I can tell, Amazon Basics is just that. They're basic cookware, it's really budget friendly, and it's kind of geared towards the beginner or maybe like intermediate average home cook. And then they also now have their Amazon commercial, which is kind of geared towards a little bit more professional, more expert, maybe more semi-pro home cook and I think the products are incredible. This one's an Amazon Basics. I think Amazon is coming out with the commercial Dutch oven so look for that. And honestly at 46 bucks it's worth a try. So that's it for me guys. I hope you found this video informative and like always I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care everybody. Hey everybody. How'd you guys like that last video? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of my next video. And if you can, 
please share with your family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Here's some more content that I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Check them out. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.